Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. I hope everybody is having a good day. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little different. We're not installing anything, we're not driving anything, but instead we are going to be kind of testing and setting up this pro tire deflator kit that I just got for my birthday from my mom. So thank you mom for this because I wanted this. So we're gonna get into opening this right here. So I think this kit was like less than $30 off of Amazon. So in the kit we get a tire pressure gauge, as you can tell. And then I don't know if this is meant for vehicles with tire pressure sensor monitors, because I, I feel like that's what these are. I'm not too sure, but it also comes with some new caps. You go over your valve stems of your wheel. But <clears throat> the point of this kit are these gold things right here. So we got four of them because we have four tires. Now, if you don't know what these are, basically after you have your tire pressures set on these, so I think it's recommended on like a normal wheel and tire setup, you usually want to set it between 12 and 15 PSI in the tire. So I'll probably run, I'll probably set this to about 15 or I'll get a tire down to 15 and then we'll put one on and make sure it stays at 15 pounds. But we're gonna have to do it four separate times because we want all four tires when we go off road to be able to set down to 15 PSI. So what you would do is you set this <clears throat> to a, whatever pressure in the tire you want it set at. And you're gonna have to do it four different times like I stated. And then you just screw this part on right here onto your tire. And then basically it just lets the air out automatically until it gets down to that, um, to the, the recommended side. Well, not recommended. It automatically sets it down to whatever you have it set at. As you can tell right here, side by side. These are pretty much the two things you will be messing with. Now I was messing with this one already, but this little, this little piece right here and this top piece right here, they both turn. It's supposed to make everything as tight as it can go, which this one's at, you gotta, but we're going to read this. Oh, there goes the GoPro. We are going to go set a tire down to 15 PSI and then read the instructions on how to do this properly. And hopefully it works because we're gonna have to do it three more times on top of that. Let's go and test out this Boulder Tools Pro Tire Deflator Kit. All right, so the GoPro is at 34% battery, so I hope it doesn't die. But I have the tire deflated right now. Um, on this one, it reads, <laughs> it reads right around 15, so it's like 14. And then this one from Advance or wherever I got it from, is reading like 16, so it's within two pounds of each other. What this recommends is you turn the lock ring, which like I said, is this little one, and the adjustment cap, which is the top one, all the way clockwise until tight. So we want them all the way down. Down, 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 down. Down, down, All right, so all these are tight. And now you screw this on here. Can you guys see that? Yeah. You screw it on there until it's tight, which it is. Turn the adjustment cap counterclockwise until you hear air. Oh, right there. 
So you turn it until you hear air, and it turned a it turned a good bit all the way back up. Turn it counterclockwise until you hear air beginning, and then you immediately tighten cap slightly clockwise just until the airflow stops. So we're right there. Turn the lock ring counterclockwise. So now we turn the lock ring all the way till it gets tight. And you make you got to make sure you don't turn the adjustment cap also. And turn the lock. All right. That should be. That should be number one done. Now it's tight and set. We'll test it out later. Now we got three more to go. I'll try doing it one hand close up. This is tight. You turn this tight all the way on here, and then you just turn this, the adjustment ring, until you hear air coming out. Right there. And then you turn this all the way, making sure not to turn. Let me hold it with this one. And making sure you don't turn the adjustment ring. Voila, halfway done. So we're gonna do it two more times. I'll skip through that and then we'll try it out on the rest of these three tires. All right, so before doing these, putting these on the rest of the tires, I went around and checked all the tire pressures. This one is still at 15. That one was around 20 that one's under 20 and that one is at 30 so all of four of my tires are at different tire pressures now i don't know if you can tell but the tire does have a little bubble to it this is a and if you're curious it's a 33 inch tall tire 12 and a half inches wide on a 15 inch rim um and if you don't know if you can't tell, these are not real beadlock rims. It's just like kind of like a, a little lip or a little ring. I like the way they look though. But we're going to put these on and see if all four tires get down or all three tire, the rest of the three tires get down to 15 PSI. All right. So the front two tires, since they have the lowest amount of air in them, I am assuming that's why it sounds like air is coming out so slowly. But I just have that one on there just because. This one has this is the 30 pound air tire, and it, has, it sounds like it's losing its air very fast. But this one should be done before any of the other three or the other two. But I'll keep an eye on them, make sure they don't go flat somehow, and we'll check the tire pressures afterwards. So it is currently 645, and this tire I don't know when I started, but this tire is down to 17 pounds. This one's down to 20, and that one's almost at 15. So these things take, it seems like they take forever. But at the end of the day, it gets four tires done at once, and it sets it all to the same PSI, hopefully, and doesn't go completely flat. I don't know if this kit would be faster to air down all four at one time, or just to let, to go one by one with one of these because these things are starting to take a long like slow down at a this lower psi but we'll see we'll see what happens so i 100 percent gave up on waiting but this tire it says it's at 15 but this tire definitely has more of a bubble but it'll definitely help for off-roading so like when we go to Roush Creek we'll just when I get there I'll tie it or I'll twist these on right away and let it start taking air out of the tires while we sign in and pay and stuff but for the most part they took a while I mean it's 657 now so I've been out here for 25 30 minutes this tire is at 18 pounds that one was about 16 and the left front was at 16 or 17 when I took it off. 
so I gave up on waiting because they started to slow down a lot and it was just becoming very boring standing out here waiting like I said I wasted like 25 minutes and these three tires still aren't at 15 psi they're close two of them are really close but they're not there so probably gonna just chill out for a little bit but I'm definitely gonna put air in them either tomorrow or sometime tonight we'll see how lazy I'm feeling while we're out here let's just take time to admire these scratches all over the Jeep I mean it's kind of dirty too but you can tell it gets off-roaded and that I beat it but I love her why you want to say hi Roxy oh oh Beamer hello Beamer ah. yes Roxy come here come here Roxy girl ah. Oh. Hi, Beamer. Ah. Ow. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video um, of the tire deflators that I got. And if you decide to get the same kit and you're kind of confused and don't understand how to read the instructions, I hope this helps. I hope this video helps you on setting yours up. I don't know if other kits are the exact same way or what. I don't even know if $30 is like cheap or if that's expensive or what. I've never even looked for i've never looked for tire deflators before and i got on amazon and that was like one of the first kits to pop up. i was like oh it's only 20 30 dollars that's cheap sounds cheap enough let me just get that so sent it to my mom got it from a birthday gift so now they're all set to what should be 15 pounds of pressure in the tires so hopefully when we go off road now and for Jeep week this year, they will work. They will set the tires down to right around 15 PSI. Um, and as you guys can tell really quick, it is seven o'clock out a little after seven and the sun is still shining. So that only can mean one thing. Springtime is upon us and nighttime does not come as early, which also means when I come home from work at 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, the sun will still be shining, and if I have a video idea that I would want to do that day, I can go out and film something for you guys because the sun will still be shining, thankfully. But still have some timers or some clocks to change around the house. But if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Um, also, please, please share. I say this every video, please share the channel. Please share a video, whatever you guys want to do. Please share anything of this channel. Get the name out there. Get the channel name out there. Have friends, family, whatever. Hit the subscribe button. Make multiple accounts. Hit the subscribe button. Whatever helps us get to a thousand subscribers and helps get us monetized. To... But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Peace out.